In this tutorial, we're going to see how to take this kind of photo and change it into a great looking pencil drawing. It's an imitation of a pencil drawing, but you can see it looks extremely real. And you'll be surprised at how easy it is to accomplish this kind of look. We're going to see how to get it done in 60 seconds. And if you want the nitty gritty details, just hang around a little bit longer. Before I start any work, I like to do a copy of the background, Command J, and then I'll work off of that one. Um, I'm going to do a hue saturation and just bring this down to minus 100. Select my copy background and do a color dodge. Then I'm going to go to Image, Adjustments, and Invert. So turn white. Next, I'm going to do Filter, and I want to do Blur. I'm going to do a Gaussian Blur. And um, you can adjust a little bit. You may just want to increase it. And then I'll click OK. Next, I want to apply curves. So I'll select the curves adjustments here. Take the left dot uh, arrow and slide it over just a little until you get your image the way you want it to look. And just to, it'll start making it really pop. And that looks fine right there. And there you have it, a great looking imitation of a pencil drawing from your photo. Okay, let's get into a few more details. Now we're going to see how to do a little bit of cleaning up on this photo. So we might want to remove some of the facial blemishing here. This stray hair up here, we might want to remove it. To do this, select your brush tool and make sure your foreground color is white. Mine is black, so I'm going to click these two arrows to bring the white one forward. And if you have red or something else here, just click it and your circle, mine is way up here. Your circle might be here, for example. You can just click over here, and what you'll do is end up getting all Fs down here. There's six Fs, that's white for the hex value. Or you can just type in three Fs, and now you'll get white. And then make sure to select a brush with a value that is under 100, just under 100. So select a soft brush. So many of these soft ones will work. And I'm going to do like um, 81 is fine. And a zero hardness. So you don't want any hardness value there. Opacity should be 100. And if I try to go ahead and start brushing, you can see we get this error. Could not rasterize because the pixel data for this layer is not directly edible. We need to select our photo layer. You can see I've got the curves layer selected. I've got an adjustment layer selected. So if I select the photo layer and now I can go in here and you can see my brush is now getting applied and I can start removing some of these blemishes I can remove this stray hair and whatever else I need to do I can go in there and fix it one tip as you're going through and working on this so I'll remove this just do click brush and as you go to different areas click brush click brush instead of doing click and do a lot of brushing and then release your mouse. Don't do it like that because then you can't undo just little pieces of your work. You have to undo everything. And so what I'm doing now as I'm clicking and brushing, I'm creating an audit trail. And if I want to go back, maybe three steps back, I can always click on the history and you can see here and I can just go back to wherever I was. So that'll really help in not wiping out a lot of work all at once if you want to undo something. Just click brush, click brush, just different areas, and that'll make your, your workflow a lot easier. So um, I hope that helps in cleaning up your photo, and thank you for watching. If you want to become a Photoshop expert, I've got the perfect course for you, and you can get it at a great discount, but for only a limited time. So just click here to get started and you can begin immediately.